Praise the Lord. The Lord is good, isn't he? Again, he allow us one more day. And one more day, we got so much to thank God for. We thank God for his goodness and his mercy, which endured to all generations. We thank God for this beautiful day. The day the Lord, a uh, day that the Lord have made, and the scriptures say we will rejoice and be glad in it. So with that, my brothers and sisters, we count it all joy this morning to, Amen. Be again at this Bethel spot where prayers, supplication have been made, and we know they need to be made again. So this morning we're going to get started by first going to the Lord in prayer, Amen. So we ask that you, uh, amen, pray along with us. Father God, it is again that a few of your sons and daughters have gathered together on this beautiful day you have made. We come this morning with thanksgiving in our hearts. And we come, Lord, praises on our lips and God we we come because Lord we know that we all need you in a time like this God we ask that you will God look down upon us today we know you know what we're here for God we know you know what we need before we enact and Father, we ask now that you will, God, just be with us. Be with us and remind us, Lord, that it's not in vain. Help us, oh God, to look to the hills from which cometh our help. We know all our help come from the Lord. Oh Lord, thank you. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for grace. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us out one more time. Now, Lord, we ask that you will have your way in the service this morning. We ask that, God, your Holy Spirit will move in our hearts and remind us that, God, we belong to you and you belong to us. God, we just want to thank you and we want to praise you because, God, there's no other God like you. Somebody say you are worthy to be praised. And, Lord, we thank you because we can call you on your name anytime, anywhere. And God, we know you will hear and answer our cry. So Lord, we thank you for allowing us to gather. Gather together this morning to worship you and to praise you. Because Lord, you have did many wonderful things for us this way. You made a way, God. You went with us every step of the way. And so this morning, here we are. God, look into you who is the author that finish of our faith. Lord, thank you for saving a wretch like us. Now, Lord, have your way. Have your way, Lord. Because we know we are the clay and you are the power. Lord, shape us and mold us to what you will have us to be. God, have mercy. Bless those who are on their way. Bless those, oh God, that could not be here this morning. Lord, some are sick in their bodies, but we know you know all about them. We pray, oh God, that you will have mercy. Now, Lord, help us now. Help us to look to the, you and know that, God, you are God all by yourself. We love you. We praise you. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Amen.
Amen. We thank Shag. Amen. I love him. If you love the Lord, you don't mind praising him. And you don't mind, amen, giving your best for him. Because he gave us his best. This morning, we thank him because he is good. And he's good, amen, all the time. Amen. The scripture tells us in Jeremiah the 33rd chapter it, it reads moreover the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the second time while he was yet shut up in the court of the prison saying thus said the Lord the maker thereof the Lord the maker of the Lord that formed it to establish it the Lord is his name then the third verse said, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Amen. I just want to stop those, those three verses. Amen. Call unto me, and I will answer. Amen. Thee. And show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. This week, amen, uh, my brothers and sisters, as we went through this week, uh, someone say, amen, you don't know like I know what the Lord did for me. And I'm here to tell you, if you call on him, he will answer. Anybody know that besides me? If you call on him, he will answer. And not only answer you, but he'll show you. Amen. He'll show you, amen, great and mighty things. He has showed us great and mighty things this week. Amen. Which we did not know. God knows everything. I mean everything. Someone say, if he know how many hairs are on our head, don't you know he know everything? Amen. God knows everything that is happening in our world. A lot of times, we don't think God knows what is going on. Amen. Around Amen. Our homes are uh, in our state. God is everywhere at the same time. I don't care how big the world is. God is everywhere. Amen. And so God say, I want you to call on me. Amen. He want us to call on him when? Now, don't wait till uh, things fall apart. But God said, I want you to call on me now. Now is a good time to call on the Lord. Amen. Wow, amen, things are running along smooth in our lives. We have to call on God and not only call on him, but we got to look to him because God is our source. God is our strength. God is our hope for tomorrow. God is our joy for today. Amen. And so when we call on him, God will show us and he will not only show us, but he will direct us, amen, in the right direction. I'm glad this morning that I know that I put my trust and confidence in God, and I have did that, amen. And I found and I discovered that when you do that, amen, my brothers and sisters, God won't fail you, amen, but man will fail you. God will not fail you. Somebody say he'll come along. Amen. You, anybody ever fall? You ever fallen? And, and sometimes you say you can't get up. Well, God will help you up. He, he uh, helped us up this week. He have helped us in many ways this week. Have he helped anybody this week? Amen. While you were working, while you were home, while you were going to and fro, God helps us. And God is our help. Amen. In times of trouble, when we are troubled, we are burdened down, when we don't know what to do, I tell you, we got to call on God. And God is a good person to call on. This morning, we are here. Amen. We are here because what? We need, we need what God has to offer us. And my brothers and sisters, every one of us needs something. Your need might not be the same as my need, but all of us need something. I need thee, oh, I need thee. I need thee when? Every hour. Every hour, every second of the day. 
I need the Lord. You and I need the Lord. Because what? In this world, he told us you're going to have what? Trials and tribulations. You're going to have trouble. And my brothers and sisters, if you don't have the Lord in your life, amen, if you don't know him personally, today is a good day, amen, to say, Lord, I want to know you for myself. And how you do that? You say, God, I'm, I, I need you to show me the way. Show me the correct way. Because the, the Bible said there's a way that seemed right. It seemed right. But the ends, where does it lead us? It leads us to, uh, amen, the wrong direction. It leads us away from God. Instead of leading us to God, we leave away from him. God wants us to come to him. Why? Because he's our heavenly father. And our father knows what his children need. I believe I got some witness here. He know what every one of his children need. This morning, I don't know what you need, but I know somebody who know, and that is God. God can supply and meet every need in your life, in your situation. Why? Because he's God. So God say, he's a great God. Somebody say, how great he is? He's a great God. He can do what? Anything. He can do anything, my brothers and sisters. And God wants us to know that we can have what? our confidence and our faith and trust in him. When things go haywire and when things, amen, begin to, amen, uh, push us away from God, we can call on God and say, God, I need you to, amen, draw me. Draw me closer to you. Because sometimes in life, as we go through life, my brothers and sisters, some other, some things pull us away from, amen, I will walk with the Lord. Let me tell you, when we walk with the Lord, that's the best uh, thing one can do in his or her life. is to ask the Lord to walk with you, amen, guide you each and every day. Because God wants us to call on him. Amen. He wants us to call on him every every day, not just on Sunday, but amen, Monday through amen Sunday. God wants us to call on him right now while we're here because, amen, he know what all of us are going through right now. Some of us, you may be sitting in your car, but you may be going through something right now, but God said, I want, to, I want you to call me. Call me because I, I can answer. I can give you the answer, correct answer. I can, I can turn it around. And God will turn it around, my brothers and sisters, because he did it for others, he'll do it for you. That's good news this morning, to know that God can turn it around. Amen for your good. I'm, I tell you, we serve a great God, does it? don't we? We serve a great and mighty God. Look at look at the day. Look at the weather. Look at the weather. How how it's changed. Amen. God, God is everywhere. Someone say he 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 know what we need before we even ask. And I just told the Lord this week, thank you, Lord. Thank you for sending some Abe cooling it down for us. Amen. Because he know that, Amen. We always gonna be complaining. Amen. But God said, I'll send it at the right time. My brothers and sisters, amen. Thank be to God this morning for the glory, his glory and his, his, his presence in this place this morning. He said, yes, the Lord say, I, I am your maker. The Lord, the maker there, he's the maker. The Lord that formed it to establish it, the Lord is his name. Someone say he's what? He's the beginning and he's what? The end. He's the first and he's the last. God wants us to know no matter, no matter where we are or what we're up against, my sisters and brothers, he said we can call on him. We can call on him and he will answer, amen, your prayers. He will answer, amen. He had the answer to our prayers and he had the answer to our, our, our problems. And he will show us, he has showed us great and mighty things. God loves us. The Lord, our God, 
He is an awesome God. So I'm going to say amen. He never gets tired. But you and I get tired. Amen. We, we, we sometimes, we say, I'm just so tired. I, I don't want to call on him right now. But you know you need to call on him when, 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 when things get so out of place in your life. When you can't focus. Amen. When, when, when you, your mind uh, is telling you one thing and, 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 and telling you to do this and do that. But I tell you, if you go to the word of God, if you open his word, it'll, he'll show you just like that. This is what I want you to do. You are my people. You, I love you. God say, I sent my son Jesus to die on the cross for you. I want you to know that you can have confidence, you can have faith in me because I will supply and meet every need in your life. All you have to do is rely upon me. All you got to do is have faith in God, my sisters and brothers, and know that God will take you through it. Yes, trouble don't last always. It don't last always. You may be troubled right now, but he said, let not your hearts what, be troubled. Ye believe in God, what? Believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are what? Many mansions. He said, if it was not so, I would have told you. But I shall am going to prepare a place for you that where I am, there ye may be also. Isn't that good news? Uh, my brothers and sisters, call on him. He want you and I to call on him. Boys and girls, he wants you to call on him too. You can call on him. Hallelujah. You will head back to school. And you got some problems in, at home. You got problems at school. God said, call on me. Call on. He want all his children to call on him. We call what? Everybody besides him. We leave him for the last. But God said, call on me first. If you call me first, hallelujah, I'm going to show I'm going to show you that hey, my, my word will do just what I, I, I sent it out to do. It will not. It will accomplish what I sent it out to do. It will not come back void. So he said, I want you to call me when you're going through your, 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 your good days and your bad days. Call me when things are just not uh, uh, right uh, uh, with you and him. He said, call me. And I will answer you. You know, we love to call our, our friends. We call them up every day. Sometimes we got friends, we'll call them. Sometimes they in another state, they're in another country, we'll call them up. But will we call God? God wants us to call him. Yes. Call him, church. Try him. Try him. Try him. And see won't it work. If I call him, he, he, he'll come. Somebody said, he'll come. He'll come to your rescue. Have he rescued you lately? Have he rescued you in your life? When your back was up against the wall, when you didn't know what you was going to do, when, when you, the bills, or your money start looking funny, and, and, and when bills got, amen, so many bills coming, and you say, what am I going to do? God said, I want you to call me. Don't wait till tomorrow. Call me now. Because yes. tomorrow is not promised to none of us. But I want you to call me early. Somebody said early this morning I begin to call him. I fell down on my knees. And I, I went in my secret room. And I've been to call on God. God, I need you today. I need you to walk with me. I need you to hold me. I need you, God, to lift me up. Because, Lord, this has been a tough week. And God, I thank you because I made it. Not on my own, but I made it because, God, you heard my petition. You heard my cry. Church, I stopped to tell you, he'll hear your cry. I don't care how, how, how far you, you are down, God will hear you. He heard the children when they were down in Egypt. God will hear you, hear you now. All you have to do is sincerely say God look down upon me I'm a sinner 
I did wrong, Lord. I walked away. I turned my back on you. I did some things that, Lord, I thought nobody knew. But God, I knew that, God, you knows everything. You know when I'm up and you know when I'm down. You know, God, how to turn it around. And I come to tell you this morning, he'll turn it around for you if you call on him. You got to know that, amen, that trouble don't last always. Weeping and do for a night, but joy will come in the morning. Hallelujah. I thank God because, hallelujah, he picked us up. Dust us off and he tells us, amen, to run on. My daughter, run on, my son, and see what the end is going to be like. Because I hear you calling me late in the midnight hour. I hear you calling me early in the morning. I hear you calling me on your job. And God said, I hear you. All you got to do is have faith in God and believe that he's going to answer. And I hear him saying, put your trust in God. And he will, he'll do great and mighty things for you. Yes, he will, church. He'll do great things for you. Somebody say, when you're sick, he'll be your doctor. Hallelujah. Somebody say, when you don't have a friend, he'll be a friend for you. Do I have any witnesses this morning? Anybody know that God will, he'll take care of you. Amen. When, when, when storms come in your life, God will. He'll hear your cry, my sisters and brothers. God will. He will take care of his children. And I stopped to tell the church this morning that, amen, God will hear your cry. Wherever you are this morning, if you are down or you are up, God will hear your cry. All you have to do is cry out to him and say, God, I need you in my life. I can't make this journey by myself. God is too much for me. I know, God, that, Lord, you love me because you say in your word, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should what, not perish but have eternal life. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's all right. Call him, church. Call him. And I heard the old church say, when I call on the Lord, he, he come to my rescue. He'll come to your rescue, church. Anybody tried him lately? Have you tried him this week? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll tell you, he'll come, church. He'll come quickly to you. And then he abide with you. And oh, my brothers and sisters, when he come, he'll make everything all right. Do I have a witness? Yeah. The word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the second time, the scriptures say, while he was yet shut up in prison, in court. Amen. God will come to you, church. I don't care where you're at, that he'll come to you, church. You got to have confidence and you got to have that hope, that belief that all things going to work out for my good and not for my bad. Do I have a witness this morning? Yes, my brothers and sisters, God wants us to trust him. God wants us to put our faith and confidence, confidence in him. God want us to know this morning, my brothers and sisters, that he is Lord all by himself. Yes, my brothers and sisters, God wants us to call on him. Now, as I come to the close, I want us to know that there's power. There's wonderful work in power in the name of Jesus. Uh, my brothers and sisters, Somebody say he can turn it around. I know he can turn it around. Because he turned it around for me one day. Just like he turned it around for the children of Israel. God will turn it around for you. You remember? Amen. He turned it around for David. He turned it around for Joseph. He turned it around for the Hebrew boys. He'll turn it around for you. 
He said, but all I want you to do, my brothers and sisters, is call on me. Call unto me, and I will answer you. And not only I will answer you, I'll show you great and mighty things which thou knoweth not. Yes, he is Lord. He is God all by himself. Somebody say, he's my water when I get thirsty. He's my bridge over deep waters. Uh, he's my wheel in the middle of a wheel. Hallelujah. He's my bread when I get hungry. Hallelujah. Anybody ever got hungry? Don't you know he'll feed you? Don't you know he can open up the windows of heaven? Pour you out a blessing. Hallelujah. Anybody need a blessing? Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you. Just call him. Say, Lord, I need a blessing. Smile on me, God. I need a blessing this morning. Because, Lord, I don't believe you brought me this far to lead me to myself. Step up away. Sometimes I may get knocked down. But I'm here to tell you, he'll pick you up, church. He'll pick you up, dash you off. And somebody's going to put running in your feet, clapping in your hand, and joy, joy on the inside. That's good news, my brothers and sisters. Oh, I thank God this morning. Somebody's out here feeling this morning all over me. I thank God this morning. He's my help. My help come from the Lord. I don't know about you this morning, but I tried him. And he is a dependable God. He will hear and answer your petition. Whatever it is that you need him to do for you, just call him up. Call him up. Somebody say, I call Jesus my rock. He's my rock in a weary land. As I go this morning, my sisters and brothers, amen, I want to encourage you to take the Lord with you. Lean on him and depend upon him and call him if you need him. Call him. And I think all of us need him right now. We need him to show us the way because he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. He's all right. Have you tried him lately? Make your way for you when you don't see a way. He'll come sometime in the midnight hour. He'll tap you on your shoulder. He said, God is going to be all right. All you got to do is hold on. Hold on to my cheating hand. God will. He'll take you through it. I know. I'm a living testimony this morning. God took me through it this weekend and I'm going to praise him. I'm going to tell the world I trust him. I put my faith and confidence in him. God will. He'll take me through. He'll take you through. Goodbye, Jim. Thank you well. In the morning. In the morning. In that great get the morning. I want to help say, well done. Well done. By and by. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's all right. Hey, he's all right. Have you tried him? He's all right. Call him. Call him up. And he will. He will. Come. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you this morning. Have a smile upon you. Don't wait, but call on him. Call him right now while you are sitting here. Amen.
He's listening. He have a ear. He's always listening. That's what I like about God. He's listening. Amen for your calls. Yes, because he want to help you. And he want to help us all. Amen. To be the children. Amen. That he wants us to be. Yes. Call him. Call him. And he will. See you through. God, we thank you for these precious moments. We thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. Thank you. Lord, for allowing us this privilege and opportunity to hear your word. Call me. Call me. And you said you would answer. Now, Lord, I don't know who it is that need to call on you right now. But somebody need to call on you. Somebody need to call on you before it's too late. Because when we look all around us, oh God, we see destruction in the land. We see people giving up. People don't have no hope. And God, we thank you because when we turn to your word and we let your word speak to us, through us, it encourages our heart to get up and stand on our own two feet and say, for God I live and for God I die. Lord, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for loving us when we didn't love ourselves. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your mercy and your grace. Now, Lord, be with us. Continue to strengthen us as we go. And Lord, I pray for those this morning that God don't know you're the pardon of this sin. Pray that if they don't know you, that today will be a day they will come and say, God, I need thee. I need you now. I need you, Lord, to help me. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. on my mouth and the meditations on my heart there'll be something more in thy sight oh Lord my strength and my redeemer in Christ's name I pray amen Amen. Hallelujah. Go in peace, my sisters and brothers. Amen. Till we meet again.